Yeah, my issue still is I, I like, videos I've taken recently, at least just like this week, is my hands are still getting like too far out here, mm -hmm. and they're getting a little bit, a little bit healy. Yep. Instead of like we're working on trying to bring it more in here and like letting the club release. But is there like a drill? Yeah. Because I just, I don't know, I feel like it's when you're I was gonna, I was gonna, speed. I was gonna tell you to do this. I want you to throw us underneath your right arm and I want you to hit cuts with that underneath your right arm. Okay? Think about what it's gonna do. Come here and check this out. I took a video of you anyways, my sneaky, sneaky video. Now, ideally, the hands would go up the plane of that shaft. You would turn them in that direction. But watch, they get vertical, they go over your shoulder, the lead arm gets a little bit more vertical than your shoulder plane. So you're already in a position right there that has everything up too high to where if you rotate at all, where's that, where are your hands gonna go? If I'm here with this right here, well now this gets on a better plane here. I'm coming down a little shallower and more alongside here. And now I can move harder this way, which is actually one of your best traits, the ability to rotate your hips, which yeah, I don't think there's a person in golf who rotates better than you through the golf ball, dude, with these, right? So if we can get your hands in the right spot, I do agree with you that you'll have more command of your ball flight. If you're coming in steep with the hand path as a result of having a little bit of that vertical lift this way, it's tough to match that up to what you need. You know, you think, think about this. If you're gonna try to hit a cut from here, it can, you, you can pull that thing dead left. Wow. I mean, dude, that has to feel like you actually have control of it, though. Oh, that was better. To me, keeping something under the right arm, you know, is a great drill for you. Like, we talk about this a lot. I like to put it right up in the front right here. I don't like to pin it on the side. I got to go in the front. That keeps the arms more in front of the body. Um, and then the next part would be when you don't have it, just not something up. Do you do that in tournaments? I do all, all the time. All the time. I see everybody, a lot of people do that with putting. And, dude, you know, here's the thing. Go, on, go out on tour and watch how many guys will either go like this or like this. So there's left and right. People tuck left, people tuck right. What's the difference, right? There's, it, it, we, I've, done, I've done that for, for multiple people both, and I'll kind of see which one works better. Um, uh, for example, Caden Fiorini, great golfer, right? And what we do with him is we'll put, out, we'll put one on his left, and that just helps him remain connected. It helps his left shoulder turn to the top, and it keeps his arm in the left side of his body moving as one, right? So it helps that turn. Then I put it under the right for people who typically lift or this arm gets too vertical, right? So what I'll do is I'll put it under here and that keeps the hands a little bit lower to the top and doesn't have them climb too high up there, okay? So, you know, both of them are inducing connection. One's helping, to me, more of a turn and the feeling of like the lead arm getting pushed back by the shoulder. The other one's really controlling this right arm and making sure it doesn't get out of position up or behind the body, okay? So for you, I like the right arm because it looks like when you do that immediately, your hand path gets good and to the point to where you can just rotate through and you don't have to worry about bringing it back down to the same spot. Before, like, I think this is the first, maybe second lesson I was with you. Um, you tried to get me to put it under my right and I couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. And so you're like, you can just do your left or whatever. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, at it's, least, I mean, that's it a starts, measure of progress. Exactly right. And, and that's great for the viewer. You know, I, we tried to do it with his right, I remember that, and we tried to put it under, he could not do it. That thing fell out every single time from the top. And, and I want you to know why that happens for most people. Most people start their swing with their arms in the golf club. They don't keep it happening with the body. There's a, there's a hand path that matches your body's rotation, Mason. You know, there's a, right here, on my shoulder plane. And if I turn it on my shoulder plane, well, that matches my body's rotation and that's gonna be neutral down the line. Now that's the golfer who can then move ball position either back or forward a little bit and that affects the path enough to where they can hit a consistent draw or consistent cut. There's a little cut. Can you just do that all the time? Like watch this, watch how different this is. So his elbow is much more down the arm is much more on the shoulder plane, and watch where this transitions, you guys, under his shoulder and right on the forearm. So from there, he can go across that as hard as he wants, and that he actually was able to fully release it, and that ball actually went online and cut a little bit. If I'm you, I'm, 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 I'm this guy from right, for right now. Yeah.
I mean, it, it, you, you would laugh. You saw my old shirts when I was a kid. Like, I had, like, the pit stains all over, like, my right sleeve because I was, dude, I used to knot it up like this, and I used to just go like that, and, like, I, it was all torn up here. It was gross. I just would sit there like this and just always have that right there. What it did for me was not only did it keep my right arm rotated the right way, but it guided my left arm right up the right path right there. And then if you get that to a neutral spot, Mason, you can start drawing it or cutting it based upon whatever the shot requires. But every time I start like missing both ways and hitting it towards the heel is always just when the always. hands start bowing too much and like getting outside because the hosel just comes into play. And I'm telling you right now, that is your ticket to not having that happen. Yeah. Because the hands getting out for you just like so many people that they try to work on these things like, oh, I got to bring my hands out of my right pocket, down of my right pocket. Well, I would challenge to make sure um, almost 95% of those people are in a poor position at the top, which induces the hands to go out. And like I said, I think, think about this. Your body's turning this way and then it's turning that way. How easy is it to go like this for most golfers? You have the, you have the takeaway down, but most go like this, in and over, right? Because it's just the direction your body's turning. Now. I found that through connection and through having your hands travel on the perfect path relative to your shoulders when you're tilted, here's that path, boom, okay, that's left arm matching the shoulder plane. When you get there and the chest is looking at the hands, well, guess what? It's going to come right back down in the right spot, but think about you. It goes up vertical over the shoulder. You would literally have to go like this to get it back, up, back where it needs to be, and you're not going to do that to speed your swinging. See, to me, everything gets better when you do that. Like, the lines get so much better, buddy. Yeah. Because your hands are just so much more connected to your body. Like, they just, you just, the minute that head cover comes out, your hands do get a little bit vertical. Okay. And then when they do, it's just kind of a guessing game as to if it's going to start left or a little bit right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and I think that the more that you do this, the more your hands just stay. And you know, the, the, here's the part that people take, on, you know, for granted. When they, when they do this drill, so much good happens. Not only is this right arm, you know, trail arm rotate better in the swing and be in a better position. Not only does the hand path get better, but the hands, beautiful, the hands work at the same pace as the body's turn when that happens, okay? So understanding that, you know, when this is in here, my hands are now paced with my body. They can't outrace my body. If they outrace my body, the head cover falls out. So that's where that gets to be good right away. All right, bud, let's get the big dog out. For Zach Golf, we take a lot of pride in having developed some of the best and most consistent golf swings on the planet. We do this through simplicity. Our Full Swing Masterclass will take you on a step-by-step, easy-to-understand process on how to get your golf swing better than ever. Join the many before you who've utilized our Full Swing Masterclass to take their games to the next level and beyond.